It's your girl Moo Legend, y'all. Time to shine radio. We out here. Another good, happy Thursday. And I'm here with my first guest, Drake Jones. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? How how you been, man? I've been working, man. Growing, working, <laughs> finding myself, you know what I'm yes. saying? Just just blessed for okay. real, for real. And Holly Flavor? Yes, blessed and Holly Flavor. <laughs> I love that. So this is for those of you who do not know this is formerly known as king roscoe correct yeah okay yeah we're gonna get into it <laughs> we're gonna get into it <laughs> for sure so introduce yourself to everybody uh what's going on man uh i go by the name of Dreek jones hardest young nigga rapping uh from atlanta georgia been doing this since i was eight since the king roscoe days you know what i'm saying uh I'm 19 now, about to get ready to drop a project, and it's 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 hard, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I made my stamp in the city. That's I've right. worked, you know what I'm saying, since a jit, me and my mom, and and I think it's time. time you know what I'm saying? It's time to shine. Facts. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's time to really let people in on the growth because they see it. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like give them a little bit more. For sure. Give him a little bit more. So you like 11 years in at this point, right? Yeah, at this point. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how old were you? Okay, so y'all don't know. He was um, on Jermaine Dupree's rap game. How old yes. were you when you won that show? I was 13. And wow. It was crazy. Yeah, because like I started rapping at eight. Mm -hmm. And um, you know what I'm saying? Like in that in, in Atlanta, it mm -hmm. was a culture of kids. It was oh, just yeah. A, yeah, you I, you probably remember. It was just oh, a culture yeah. of kids and we were just doing our big one. Like before before there was a TV show. Right. You know what I'm saying? We was working, we was all like performing at the same events, the same open mics, like yep. Lotto, Super Peach. Yeah. So when the show came out and it aired in twenty sixteen and I seen my friends, like people that I grew up with. Right. You know what I'm like, saying? Yo, yo, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Nah, <laughs> I need to. I need to get on with they on. You okay. know what I'm saying? So from there, it was like, okay, cool, bet. I'm gonna I'm come home from school every day, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna make a rap video, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell folks to tag Jermaine Dupree, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. go hard with it. Okay. Every day, I had 700 followers, and think nobody was seeing me. Wow. Right, and then at the time we had a uh, we was going through some shit, uh, family shit, mm -hmm. homeless and shit like that. So yeah. the opportunity when it came, it was like wow. You know what I'm saying? God come at the right time. Come on, God. God come at the right Brag time. So, <laughs> yeah, for real. So, and I and, and I still it's still such a surreal moment for me. You know what I'm saying? Just growing up with it and like really meeting people who like this show was like their childhood. Wow. This show is like implemented into their childhood. So like just realizing that is just a special moment. But yeah. Okay. I I love that. So was it a whole process for you to even get on the show? Uh yeah, we did the interviews um and they actually interviewed like they had been interviewed. They interviewed a bunch of kids from right. Atlanta. Okay, like, so it was, it was Buku kids. Yeah, it was Buku kids. <laughs> so like everybody was getting interviewed for the show okay. that we had no idea about cuz okay. they're just saying it's a show. And we're right. like, "Hmm, is it a show or is it a scam?" You <laughs> know what I'm saying? And then we seen it wasn't no scam. Right. So, uh we did the interviews and Skype calls and things of that nature and then like it was my mom's, I think it was like a day after her wedding. No, nah, it was her wedding day. Wow. And they called her and said, yeah, like, this day we need you to be in this van. Wow. Yeah, to in film. Event. So wow. Crazy. Okay, crazy experience. So what did you get out of being on national television? Um, Lessons. Like, uh -huh. I, I would say, like, it's more like in the house. Like, mm -hmm. just, like, how to treat people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? How to handle yourself. Okay. Um especially like being so young and like having your life having your whole shebang like just there for people to say say shit about mm -hmm. say shit about it or have judgment to it like just dealing with that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and then like building that confidence with, within yourself okay um yeah that's like the biggest lesson that being on national tv taught me and it's still teaching me to this day because like it's, it's even though it's been like five years since it like it still still feel kind of new for mm -hmm. me, you know what i'm saying it's still yeah. like an adjustment because you really got to know yourself facts so you won't so they can't get to you yeah absolutely because um because i sent you i dm'd you a picture that i took of you I, it was at some event um where everybody was wearing all black do you remember the event yeah you do yeah <laughs> And you were like, you were all over the place. Because at that time, I was taking pictures everywhere. And yep. then I saw you a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm like, who was this little kid? And then I saw you on TV. I'm like, oh, that's him. And then here that's we hard. are. That's <laughs> hard. Yes, man. Yes. And, I, and I'm so glad that 
that is people like you that really seen it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, really. <laughs> we was literally in the city of Atlanta it's going everywhere, crazy. Everywhere, y'all. Everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten. I'm everywhere. Right. Like, Whatever this, event was popping. Right. This is before I even had a crown. This was just the bow tie. <laughs> right. Bow like, tie. I was going crazy. So, like, yeah. I'm <laughs> glad that the city of Atlanta really understand my hustle. And, like, right. The work I put in. Okay. And you had glasses back then, so you rocking the contacts now? Nah, I actually, <laughs> I actually left my glasses. I, I was running late. I couldn't find my glasses. So oh, man. Okay. It's a bummer, yeah. <laughs> but you here. So um, so coming out coming out of that, um, you finished school. So what are you working on now? Um, I'm working on my project, okay. Drake Jones. Drake Jones. It's titled Drake Jones. Okay. Um, it's 10 songs Okay You know what I'm saying It's dope, dope. I don't want to speak too much about it But I okay. am about to drop the single Okay For it um, Two of the singles that's on the project Are already out Cancer and Grew Up in the 60s Okay um, Those are doing pretty well So It's just uh, Working and rebranding mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying And and really giving the people more Okay Than you, you know, gave a, them before Right A okay. different side of me Okay right. So what made you change your name to Dreek Jones Um I've been King Roscoe for a minute. Like yes, I've have. I've done I've done the rounds. Okay. Done my rounds with the name. I feel like like from performing at open mics and god dang beating forty year olds at open mics <laughs> to America's Got Talent. Right. To being on T V to being on tour with the brat. Right. Like <laughs> Right. <laughs> you know okay. what I'm saying? So you what's mastered him. Right. So it's like, what's next? Okay. Got you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yes. it's like that's what I I had to figure out and really sit down, like, what's next? Like, okay. how can I elevate? Mm-hmm. How can I show people my elevation? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then also I came up with King Roscoe when I was in third grade. Wow. So it was kind of crazy because like it's crazy, like once you get a name, you kinda stuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> damn, <laughs> right. damn near so it's it's, it's like uh like I, I i had to come to a realization like okay when i put out this music and mm-hmm. i'm going for a more mature route right i want my name to match that okay you know what i'm saying all right that's it okay i feel like king roscoe were my fun years yeah that's when i was having fun and i was fun. just now I'm, now i'm in that mode okay <laughs> <laughs> you know so I feel like the change is definitely needed. No, for sure. Yes. And so how long have uh, Drake Jones been in existence? Um, I started working on it like last year. Okay. Yeah, I just did this song. Um, it's on the tape. It's on the project too. I had did this song and I just felt different. Like, okay. It just wasn't the same me no more. Right. I just felt different. I felt like I was just tired. I mm-hmm. was like, nah, y'all niggas got me fucked up. Let me right. let me give <laughs> let me give it to y'all for real. For Period. Real. Cause it was like a thing of like, damn, like I really put in work. So mm-hmm. like. I hate being discredited or I hate being like...